Okay, on the bench today we've got one of these import television sets to work on. I've not powered it up yet, so we're going to do that together on the camera. Uh, so it's been dropped off, I think, with the complaint that the tuner was only receiving, I don't know, it was like static or noise or some type of, I think it was FM radio or something. Um, Slovakian USSR sort of design I guess 12 inch black and white of course thing can run off 12 volts interestingly we've got an aerial socket on the top I wonder if that's for uh, one of those uh, you know little aerial or something that just plops on the top kind of reminiscent to I don't know if, if you've seen one of those Vega televisions they had a a loop aerial that just plopped on the top perhaps that's what you would have seen on one of these unfortunately the, these controls have broken off I'm not too sure whether they broke if the, the chap broke them off or they were already broken or if they'd broken off in shipping but never mind I suppose you know that's part of the charm really with this old stuff has uh, they all show their age I think it's far more nicer to get something that does have age to it rather than something that looks pristine in my opinion because you know it's been used it's been loved etc rather than just sitting on a shelf let's see what the actual make of this set is oh gosh it's a little bit heavy transistorized of course so we've got a 12 volt input is that German or French it's German. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what that says. Import television set. Let's power it up, see what we can figure out with this. Oops. Oh dear. Well, that's latched on anyway. Okay. And we've got snow on the screen. Let's try and figure out what these controls are. Right, brightness. Is that our contrast? Okay. Tuning arrangement. Oh, I think this can do band three. How do you. Oh, I see. You can turn this and it changes between. UHF, VHF, etc. It's quite stiff to turn these. I don't want to to break it. Oh. Gosh. Okay, let's just go on this. Okay, let's see what the pattern generator says. Okay. 500 megahertz. I think that's somewhere around. Um, near channel 21 isn't it somewhere near there 32 let's see okay turn our volume down I don't want it to be too loud and that doesn't look too bad does it I don't know if the guy got a picture on it. I'm assuming, you know, maybe that was because some of these are quite stiff. I'll have to lubricate those. Slight linearity. Fault, perhaps that can just be adjusted out. Let's look at our gray scale. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. That looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what our bandwidth is is like. Not so bad. I would have expected 
a little bit more better, but then we are only feeding it on RF signal. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Let's put my test card on there. Yeah, looks good, I can't complain. Turn the sound off. Okay, so let's sort out the vertical linearity. Going to check some of the caps. I would like to sort out the tuner. The guy did mention that there was radio interference, so maybe a noisy transistor or something. Um, so I will check the front end, see if there's something I can do. Um, clean, I'm going to clean those tuner controls because they're very uncomfortably stiff adjust the main power supply, see if there's any leaky caps in there. I think that'd be it. I've got one of my own import sets. I think anyway, this is French, I think. Uh, but it has a similar style of tuner. Also a black and white 12 inch. I'd quite like to see that work. Perhaps we could do a video on that one day. I suppose let's get the back off and uh, yeah, see what we can do. Wow, look at this. I really like that chassis design. Look at how small the board is. That is quite unbelievable. Power supply looks like it's all on, well, at least the fusing is on here. Okay, a bit dusty in there. Perhaps I'll um, give that a wipe down. This frame unscrews. Gosh, this is quite confusing because we've got this you know, which we can't move. Because of how the mains flex is attached, it's it's permanently attached and the hole is too small to bring it to bring the uh, the Euro style plug out. Yeah. It's gonna be quite interesting. Little CRT plug. Or is that a socket? Philips style caps in there or you know, like copies, I dunno. doesn't look like this has been touched at all so I'm going to have to take uh, just those flathead screws out of either corner um, I want to think the first thing I want to do after I do that is um, lube up the tuner right okay see you in a sec gosh that took far longer than uh, than it should have really I've also noticed that the Oh, the poor label on the tube has started coming off. Oh, and it is a Philips tube. It did look <coughs> suspiciously like a Philips set. I think I might re-glue that just for the sake of doing it. Let's touch up these solder joints. Let's have a look at the power supply. Everything is a little bit higgledy piggledy because I'm having to oops, I'm having to deal with very short cables. So, um, I can't detach, uh, I can't detach anything, so um, I'm just going to reset and uh, let's have a look at the power supply smooth. Okay, so the cap that we're interested in is uh, just that blue one, big blue one over there. Um, AC directly feeds into the board and I think we've got a regulator. 12 volt regulator or 18 volt, whatever it is. I can see that there, the thing in the um, transistor package looking thing. It's a switching transistor. Be just an IC, but uh, in the transistor package, or perhaps it's just a, I don't know, some type of regulating, regulating circuit. I'm just going to clean up the board a bit because I can't see anything. And then Whilst I've got it sort of disassembled, I'm going to clean the tuner as well. That took far more longer than I thought it would. 
Okay, HT is adjusted. I've got a couple caps to change. Crappy ESR. I've done the main smoothing <clears throat> already. I'll show you what I've replaced it with. Or I'll show you the one I took out first. How about that? I've cleaned it up. Just tested not very good. And I've replaced it. Slightly higher voltage than this one, of course. But uh, that's what we've put in there. I've got a couple more to do. Um, I've sorted out the centering. It's a bit more better. Now, there's no width control, so it's pretty much dependent on what the HT is set at. I've cleaned the tuner. Seems to be working fine. I can change bands. You just have to you know, make sure that the band is selected correctly. There's no like focus control that I can see. I think it's just, you know, fixed. But it seems to be working okay. So focus is pretty sharp after I've adjusted the HT anyway, so um Okay, so I'm going to just button this up now, um, give the thing a wipe down and uh, I think we'll be ready to pick up. Right, so it's been reassembled. I've also taken the opportunity to give it a really good polish up. It looks absolutely stunning doesn't come across on the, on the camera very well but um, like the plastic really pops out I've done a good job polishing that here's what our <clears throat> picture looks like fair enough all right well um, I'm sorry it was you know kind of a boring video but thank you for watching hopefully uh, see you in the next one bye